Welcome back, YouTube. We are hitting a push day today, feeling good. Starting off with chest. Uh, trying to just get the pecs popping a little bit more, but shoulders have been kind of the main focus in terms of program design. I've been starting off with shoulders just because my shoulders have been fatiguing really quickly. So trying to hit them when they're a little bit more fresh, but we're gonna go a little bit lighter on the shoulders today. A little bit more focus and tension on the chest and then uh, keep the weights a little slightly lighter for the shoulders, but higher volume. In terms of rep schemes, set schemes, what I've been doing a lot lately, which I've found to be really, really beneficial with the uh, excess calories during this bulk, is hitting two to three sets at the kind of 15 rep range, and then dropping down in reps, but increasing weight and finishing with two to three sets in the kind of the eight to 10 range, a little bit heavier. My body is responding pretty well to it, so. So we got three sets of 15 now. We'll increase the weight just a little bit and try to hit ideally exactly eight reps with maybe one or two left in the tank. So the big thing about failure training is knowing when it's appropriate, when to use it, when not. And so for me, oftentimes I'm going as close to failure as possible without actually failing. Meaning I'm not frying my nervous system, I'm not frying my adrenaline system. I'm just trying to push my body as hard as I can without it shutting down on me neurologically. So I'm really just thinking about leaving one, maybe two reps in the tank or shy of failure. And if you're gonna fail, fail in your last set. Using the foam roller setup here, allowing me to get more range of motion and really pull my shoulders back without the machine basically capping out in range of motion. So really forcing me to open up the chest, get a little bit more extra stretch in the pec, and hopefully grow more. Oh. heavier we're gonna hit two sets here at eight and then one set dropping down going to failure again choosing failure at a time that's appropriate for benefit and mitigated risk one down We're gonna rest 30 seconds, give or take. I can't count that high. Drop it down and then pump it out to failure, but maintaining tempo. So it'll be about 20, 30 pounds lighter. We're gonna go three seconds in, three seconds out, and try to just maintain that smooth tempo, keep that tension the entire time. This is where I feel like people mess up drop sets, is they just drop the weight and think that they just need to get as many reps as they can. 
and they kind of start neglecting form, tempo, tension, all the things that are actually the most important. Chest is popping. He would say, I'm a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Crosby? Okay. I'll be there. Chest is done for now. Might do some finishers later, but for now we are moving on to shoulders. Bulk of the work is gonna be a lot of shoulder presses, a lot of lateral raises, and then finish with some front raises before we get into some supersets for the arms. this shoulder press machine. Man, it's heavy. Near maxing it out, which pat on the back, but use the uh, Arsenal converging shoulder press the other day and did three and a quarter on each side. Uh, that's three plates and a 25 pound plate, not 300 and a quarter on each side. I could do that for like 20 reps. I come over here, get to 215 and I'm like struggling for eight. Your machines are different. So if that doesn't tell you that the weight is not that important, then I don't know what will. Just make it hard. And that's what she said. <laughs> We're gonna get one more set here. Just a lot of repetitions, a lot of blood flow. Maybe a little FST7 interset stretches, flexes. <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh. 
spider curl way way harder than it looks but essentially just change the angles and then a little bit more hanging tension in the bicep the entire time I talked a lot about joint angle starting positions ending positions and making sure that we're not shifting weight out of the intended muscle as little as possible so it's a great kind of variation just kind of mix it up throw it in every once in a while especially towards the end because you can do a really great drop set where you start off with two dumbbells, burn that out, and then drop one and just kind of wait or curl the, uh, the other remaining dumbbell. A great pump. Arms were pretty burnt out from the chest work, shoulder work, so biceps, and then we'll finish with triceps. Give the triceps a little break because they're so involved with chest and shoulder work that, uh, yeah, would not have been super productive. Just trying to fill that out. No loose skin. No dick skin on here. Just fill those arms out. <sighs> Only two working sets for the spider curls and the machine curls today. Pull day tomorrow will be a little bit more in the nitty gritty for biceps. Just touching on them today, getting a little bit more volume, a little bit more frequency throughout the week. Sometimes the benefit of just going unilateral one side at a time is just ensuring that you're not creating compensations. Be really easy for you know a handlebar or even a double you know your traditional tricep rope to push a little bit more on one side and do that over and over and over again without really noticing that you're shifting a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right so every once in a while starting off getting it fired up one arm at a time and then maybe finishing with a little more heavier force just compound work Way easier, in my opinion, to develop 
a mind muscle connection when focusing on that unilateral. Being able to focus on getting that peak contraction, getting to a fully lengthened position, and then with the triceps specifically, kind of contracting the bicep in the fully lengthened position before you then go and have to contract that tricep really hard again. So trying to maximize contraction, shortening the tricep with that fully arm extended position, and then maximizing the length by squeezing the bicep as much as you can at the very top. It may not make a huge difference in one set, one day, one week, one month, one year even, but compound it over years. That extra little time under tension, that extra contraction, that extra mind-muscle connection, I promise you will make a difference. I've got about three more sets of these, but battery's running a little low, so don't know what to tell you. We're gonna cut it there, I'm gonna do the work, and then I got a lot of food to eat. It's almost six o'clock, and I got at least 2,000 more calories before the end of the night. So, Bo Alexander, Adapt Fitness, Dallas, Texas. We steady growing and laugh. Oh.